I have not seen the first one. There's a cyber cafe that I've been working at, and this computer was sitting in the lost and found for the last three or four weeks. Hang on, you stole someone's computer? I didn't steal it. Oh, yeah, okay. That's messed up. And I found this folder, it was hidden, and it automatically connects you to this thing. Dude, this is dark web. What's dark web? Part of the internet where no one can track you. It's all about drugs, mm -hmm. illegal IDs, even assassination for hire. Whoa. Yeah, the dark net is mostly about the bad guys. And this computer's got videos on it, right? Check this out. That's interesting. I really think you should stop. Oh, God. Is that a person? Huh? That looked way too real. I think that is real. Guys, that's what they're trading. Trade what? All those videos. We have to do something, and we have to do it now. Who's that? It feels like I'm chatting with them. What's happening? That's so scary. Wait, guys, hold up. Where's Lex? Wait, that looks like that's Lex's building. No, you guys. No, 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 no. Is that Lex? Ones who buy the videos, the ones who pick the girls. What the hell? They've all been watching. That is so oh scary. God. That's my mom. No. no. If they found Lex, can't they find the rest of us too? They've had control this whole time. <laughs> Please leave us alone. <laughs> Right that is so scary because it could happen in real you. life. As you all know, I don't like scary stuff, but this is kind of different because it deals with real topics. I guess what makes this feel more grounded is that we can all relate to it. We video chat and we use the internet for everything, so it's more realistic. The fear you feel by thinking people are watching you via your webcam or your cell phone camera. Things like Facebook where you post where you are or you post personal stuff and you add strangers. That is a real thing and a very scary thing because that's where people get your information and then they try to kidnap you or try to use that information to sell stuff on the internet. It is crazy. Of course I've heard of the dark web but it was more detailed here. A place where you cannot be where they can't pin you, where they can't find you, that... Whew. Not only in the US, it is happening all over the world. We should be more careful with what we share on social media because there's a lot of people out there that want to do evil things and we should not make that easier for them. I need to check out the first one, but this looks very interesting. Please be careful with who you talk to on the internet, who you add or what you post. It is for your good. It is better to be safe than sorry, trust me. So I hope you all do that. What do you guys think about this trailer? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe, follow me on Stardust at Minute Movie Pop, and I will see you soon. Esto es algo que sí me da miedo porque es algo que está pasando ahorita. No nada más en Estados Unidos, sino en todo el mundo, y es la difusión de información a terceras personas, información que ponemos en nuestras redes sociales como Facebook o Twitter o Instagram. Ponemos localizaciones, ponemos lo que estamos haciendo, a dónde vamos a ir y la gente en el internet busca esa información, la puede vender o puede utilizarla para otros fines. Es algo que sí está pasando y de verdad sí da mucho miedo porque es algo real. Ay no, qué miedo de verdad. Solo de pensarlo, necesito ver la primera película. Sí captó mi atención porque como les digo es algo que está pasando ahorita. Qué horror. Por favor, tengan mucho cuidado con quién hablan en el internet, a quién la agregan o qué es lo que ponen en sus redes sociales. Más vale prevenir que lamentar, como dicen. Espero que de verdad lo hagan. ¿Ya vieron este trailer? ¿Qué les pareció? Díganme en los comentarios. Si te gustó este video, dale like, sígueme en Stardust. Estoy como Minute Movie Pop. Suscríbanse y nos vemos pronto.